Hey guys, what is up? It is SSD Middleman here with Guides for Assault, and today we're going to be taking a look at the unique gun weapons of the Gunrunners Arsenal DLC in Fallout New Vegas. So, starting off, to get any of these weapons from the Gunrunners Arsenal, you're going to need to head to the Gunrunners shop after downloading the DLC, or to Mick and Ralph's. There are more locations you can get these weapons from, but I recommend going to the Gunrunners or Mick and Ralph's. So, we're going to start off with the Bozar. The Bozar is a powerful automatic 5.56 LMG with an ammo capacity of 30. It has lower damage per shot than the light machine gun, however, a higher rate of fire. The use of commonly available ammunition, low AP cost, a remarkably fast reload speed, high DPS, and lower spread make it a useful weapon for long and medium distances. The Bozar can fire a total of about 3,995 standard rounds, the equivalent of 134 reloads from full condition before breaking. So, compared to the light machine gun, the Bozar will do two less damage, but the DPS is significantly higher at about 32 uh, increased DPS as opposed to the LMG. Plus, it only has 30 bullets in the clip, which is lower than the light machine gun, but I believe that the reload speed makes up for this, and it's not that big of a deal. So, some notes about the weapon. The Grunt Perk from the Honest Hearts expansion does not work on the Bozar due to the impossibility of enabling content from two separate add-ons to interact. Kind of sucks. The Grunt Perk really does help out light machine guns. And the Bozar counts as unique weapon, so it can be used to satisfy the GRA challenges, Curious and Relics, and Master of the Arsenal at the same time. <clears throat> this weapon can also be used to complete the challenge Vault 13's Revenge, and the magnification of the scope is 2.43x on the weapon. So, some behind the scenes about the Bozar during the development of Fallout 2. The Bozar was supposed to be a sniper rifle rather than an LMG with a scope, but a mistake was made during the attribution of the stats, and they were kept like that, making the Bozar an atypical weapon. The Bozar was also planned to be included in the game Stalker Clear Sky as an easter egg along with the 223 pistol and generic 223 ammo, but only remains partially implemented in the game's resources, as it was never fully put into the game. Moving on to the Little Devil. The Little Devil is a unique variant of the 12.7mm pistol. It does greater damage, fires faster, has greater chance of crits, has a lower AP cost, and is more accurate. The barrel is shorter and has a black synthetic hand grip on the gun. Like most unique weapons, modifications cannot be applied. The Little Devil can fire about 600 rounds, the equivalent of 85 reloads from full condition before breaking. Compared to the regular 12.7mm pistol, this thing is way more powerful. The clip size is the same, but the DPS is significantly higher, at about 36.3 higher on average. It does 5 more damage per shot, and this thing is a beast. It is quite expensive to get, as with all of the Gunrunner's Arsenal weapons, but I'd say it's a pretty good weapon to carry on. It is only a level 1 holdout weapon, despite its size for some reason. I'd imagine it would be higher than that, since it's such a tiny gun you could sneak it in anywhere. But, even though that the weapon is a level 1 holdout weapon, you can't sneak it into weapon free areas, even if your sneak skill is above 50. This is a bug on all three systems. I don't know why this bug is here, this weapon would be awesome to sneak into places, but unfortunately I guess you just can't do that. Moving on to the medicine stick. The Medicine Stick is a variant of the Brush Gun. It has an increased ammo capacity, a less obstructive rear sight, and is much cleaner in appearance. It also features a unique stock with a symbol similar in appearance to the Native American Medicine Wheel attached to its side. Compared to the standard Brush Gun, the Medicine Stick has slightly higher damage and rate of fire. Due to the gun's tubular magazine, it is reloaded by hand one bullet at a time, allowing the player to interrupt reloading midway. This allows the gun to be fired before reloading is complete, which is kinda nice but the reloading one shot at a time can be a pain in the butt. The medicine stick can fire about 995 standard rounds, the equivalent of 125 reloads from full condition before breaking. So compared to the brush gun, the medicine stick does a little bit extra damage. It's not a lot, but that little bit can make a nice difference when you're trying to one shot take out enemies. This weapon is actually the strongest 4570 government chambered weapon in Fallout New Vegas. So medicine sticks are also called spirit sticks by some Native American tribes, and spirit sticks are used for rituals relating to the spirit world and are often decorated with beads and feathers from spirit animals such as the eagle or the bear. The weapon's name implies that it can take away bad spirits and send them back to the spirit world. So, with this gun you're going to be taking away bad spirits, aka anything living. Shoot them in the head, I guess they'll go to the spirit world. Sounds good. Some bugs with the weapon, and there are a lot. When firing from long ranges, it appears that the sights are not completely aligned, meaning you have to aim slightly to the left of an enemy for a direct hit. You'll see that in the gameplay. Sometimes, the lever may remain downward after running while reloading. This is purely aesthetic, however, it will return to its original position once you stop moving or holster the weapon. Just another weird glitch. Uh, while reloading in third person, you may not see the usual lever action after reloading. Uh, if you look at the opposite side of the stock when holstered, the feather might have disappeared. This is most evident when wearing the heavy slash medium power armor. Uh, as with the regular brush gun, medicine stick may glitch in VATS mode, causing the cocking handle 
to become stuck in the downward position. The player will not fire any rounds and will stay in the glitch state until killed. This may require a reload of a previous save. Another annoying glitch that's happened with a few guns. The reload animation of lever action weapons doesn't have a corresponding jam animation, so the weapon will not jam even at near breaking conditions. That's nice, I guess. And like all round by round reloading weapons in the game, if the player switches ammo types quick enough, the animation to load a single round is played, but you will have a full magazine. So there's a lot of glitches with this gun, but whatever, it's still a pretty good gun and is the most powerful 4570 government chambered weapon in the game. Moving on to the Paciana. The Paciencia is a unique hunting rifle. It has a three round magazine, but boasts higher damage than the regular variant, as well as higher item HP. Its main advantage over the standard variant is its extremely high crit damage with an astounding 110 points equal to the anti-material rifle. Due to its bonus critical chance, critical hits will be more common. It also has a 3.5 times magnification when looking down the rifle's iron sights, equivalent to a top tier scope. But unfortunately, since it is a unique weapon, you cannot modify the weapon, which means no scope, you're going to be stuck with the iron sights, which is a little harder to aim, but it shouldn't be that much of a problem because this gun does a massive amount of damage. In appearance, it is a less makeshift. It is less makeshift than regular hunting rifles. The pieces of metal and duct tape holding the barrel in place are absent, as the barrel is in no state of disrepair. The stock is not damaged, and the wood is in far better condition. A Mexican flag is also wrapped around the stock for use as a makeshift cheek rest. The Paciencia can fire a total of about 1,745 standard rounds, the equivalent of 582 reloads from full condition before breaking. That's a lot. Seriously, if you fire that many shots with this one gun, you probably need some help. Anyways, unlike the ordinary hunting rifle, the Paciencia's iron sights are correctly aligned. So, like the hunting regular hunting rifle, I always have to put a scope on because when you aim down the iron sights, sometimes you'll miss just because they're not aligned properly. With this one, you won't have the same problem. In Spanish slash Portuguese, Paciencia means patience. According to Joshua Sawyer, it is named so because you have three shots, so you'd better make them count. Moving on to the final gun weapon in Gunrunner's Arsenal, the Sleepy Time SMG. 10mm SMG has a proud history in the wasteland, and the Sleepy Time variant continues that tradition of excellence. Its integrated suppressor makes it accurate and deathly quiet. Other mods boost damage and slightly raise the rate of fire, making this weapon a covert powerhouse. It has also been painted a sleek black color compared to its regular cousin. If you take a look at Sleepy Time, this thing looks like a beast. Plus, it's pretty good for sneaking around with the suppressor, and it is very accurate, which makes it kind of useful at medium range. Sleepy Time is also considered an improved holdout weapon, making it the only automatic holdout weapon in the game. Sleepy Time is the only gun that can be used for the Nya C challenge if the player does not want to turn any of New Vegas Strip's three families hostile. Sleepy Time can fire a total of about 2,495 standard rounds, the equivalent of 63 reloads from full condition before breaking. Uh, some bugs with the weapon. Actually, there's only one bug. When shooting, there may be a split-second delay where the firing animation will play, but no bullets will be fired. This is probably due to the fact that the Sleepy Time shoots so freaking fast, the game just can't keep up with it. Anyways, this thing has a really good DPS, and I'd recommend picking it up if you are into SMGs in any kind of game. With a good gun skill, this thing can take out most enemies in the game pretty quickly. Anyways, those are all the gun weapons included with the Gunrunner's Arsenal DLC in Fallout New Vegas. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like rating down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.